Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at our December 2023 advent calendar, build number 11. For build number 11, I'm going to be showing you how to construct a cute little houseboat. And inside of this houseboat is a fully functional sea pickle farm. On the deck of this boat, there are a few barrels for storage and a cauldron filled with water to maybe make it look like you're storing fish or something that you have freshly caught out of the ocean in that cauldron. To activate your farm, just go ahead and grab some sea pickles. Any sea pickle will do. Open up the door and walk in. Upon stepping on the pressure plate, you will activate the farm. And to use the farm, just hold down your click button on this oak plank on the wall or on the coral in front of you, but I find it more effective to hold it down on the wall. And your pickles will automatically get placed, bone mealed, and then broken and placed back into your inventory. Stand here for as long as you need to obtain as many pickles as you need. And then when you're done with the farm, you just step out, it will turn off the farm and even close the door behind you. This is a very basic little farm, and I hope you guys end up loving it just as much as I do. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and start constructing this beautiful little pickle farm houseboat. So we're going to go ahead and do this by layers. This way it's easier for me. So first of all, find a spot in the water where you would like to put your boat and then get a block to actually start building off of. Now, I'm going to do this mostly out of slabs, but you can use solid blocks where you can. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up three blocks like this with a ladder on either side. And then I'm going to run five more blocks out the back end. So this is going to be the front of our boat. And this is going to be the back of our boat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take spruce slabs. And of these five coming out the back, I'm going to go ahead and put a slab on the side of each one of these blocks on both sides. Then I'm going to do all slabs around the back. Now, here are our ladders. We're going to go with four spruce trap doors out the side, just like this. And then exact same thing on the other side. So this is the shape you should have for your boat so far. Now, off the front of our ladders, we're going to go ahead and put in three slabs and then one slab here. And you can go ahead and put another slab right here. So go ahead and make this one a full block. This way, when you look under the boat, it kind of ramps off in all directions. Now we can go ahead and move on to the second layer. All right, so for the second layer of the boat, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these three blocks here and put another ladder on either end, just kind of continuing upwards. Now I'm also gonna go ahead and fill in these three blocks right here in front, and I'm gonna put a slab on these sides here, either side of our ladder, and then I'm gonna put a trap door in front of those, just like this. This block can get filled in. These are gonna be top half slabs. And then we're going to go ahead and take our spruce slabs. We're going to add a strip across the front like this. Go ahead and also have a bottom one right there. So it continues upward with this like slope. And then off the front of our ship, we're going to have a upside down spruce stair. And that is going to complete the front part of our boat for this layer. Now, moving on to the back portion of this. On top of every single trap door, let's go ahead and put a solid block. And then we can go ahead and take out some trap doors. We're going to put two here. And then we're going to come out with another block. And we're going to put one here. This is just going to be to add some extra random details. Do the exact same on the opposite side, just like this. Now we're not going to completely fill this in. We're going to put three solid blocks right here. And then on the sides, we're going to start filling in with some redstone. But before we fill in with that redstone, let's go ahead and finish the outside perimeter. So let's go ahead and start off by grabbing some spruce stairs. We're going to put two upside down spruce stairs in these locations here. We're going to fill in this middle section with three solid blocks. And then we're going to put three more upside down spruce stairs off those blocks, just like this, creating a bit of a rounded back to the ship. Now, in this middle section, we can start filling in a few of our redstone components. First of all, these three blocks that we have right here, on the right-hand side of the very middle one, let's put a redstone torch. This is going to be what actually activates our farm. Now, we can put in a temporary hopper there. Place one going into the side of it. Remove that temporary one, so you're going to have the torch and then a hopper flowing that way. Now, come around to the back of your boat and place a hopper facing into that one. 
So if you put an item in there, it's just going to flow back and forth between them when that torch is not there. Go ahead and take that item out, put your torch back. Grab a random block, does not matter, you're not going to be getting this back, and just chuck it in your hoppers. It should stay in the one right next to your redstone torch. Grab a comparator, place it right here, coming out of your hopper, and then put a target block in this corner. We can then go ahead and finish this off with a piece of redstone dust right there in front of our comparator. This is going to be the basic system for our farm. This is going to be what actually constantly ticks and activates our clock. This technically is our clock. And then the next layer, we're going to start adding in the pistons and the coral and stuff like that. Moving on to our third layer here, we're going to go ahead and start adding in some of the nice details of our boat. First of all, off the bow of our boat, let's place a dark oak stair, just like that. Then we can go ahead and put a solid block of dark oak either side of that stair, along with another stair in front of that, just like this. Now after that, we're going to go ahead and put a slab on top of this trapdoor here, and the block after that, same on the opposite side. Grab two dark oak trapdoors while standing on your boat facing outwards. Place on the side of each of those slabs. This way, they open outwards like that rather than towards your boat. This way, when you're in the water and you're trying to get on your boat, when you open up that trapdoor, it opens so that you can actually climb onto your boat instead of acting as a shield, preventing you from getting on your boat. Go ahead and grab two more dark oak slabs after your trapdoor, then a dark oak stair, just like this. From there, we're gonna put three solid blocks on both sides. Now we can go ahead and grab two dark oak trapdoors, put one above this bottom spruce trapdoor, and then one to the right next to it. And on the opposite side, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing, just like this. Three more dark oak blocks filling in these areas, and then three upside down dark oak stairs. All right, now we can go ahead and start filling in this inside area again. Go ahead and grab out some spruce logs. We're going to go ahead and put one right here and right here. This is going to be where you walk in. We're also going to go ahead and put a dark oak pressure plate on the block with your redstone torch on it. This way, when you step on it, you will see your comparator will start flashing on and off. And when you step off, it's going to stay off. Now we can go ahead and put three oak planks coming out of each of those logs, just like this. And then another log on the opposite end, but only on the right-hand side. This is because our sticky piston is now going to go in the middle. And on the left-hand side, on top of that target block, we're going to place a redstone torch, which is going to activate our piston. Now on the head of that piston is where we will place our coral. However, don't place it in right now because without water in place yet, it is just going to die. Now before we go ahead and move on to the next layer, let's put in a cauldron in this location right here. Fill that with water. Take a barrel, place one facing upwards right here, and then one facing to the side just like this. These barrels are going to be storage for bone meal or pickles or whatever you want. And then just kind of a cauldron to maybe look like that's where we're storing some fish or some other random items. We are on a boat after all. Might as well add some nice decoration. Moving up to the fourth layer here, we're gonna go ahead and raise up all of our logs by one. And then on top of the redstone torch, on top of your target block, we're also going to place a log. We're also going to go ahead and raise all of our oak planks up by one. We can go ahead and grab a redstone dust and place that on top of our sticky piston. Now, above the head of our sticky piston, we're going to come and place a upside down oak stair right here, just like this. This is going to be so that we can waterlog it, and when our piston is moving, our coral doesn't actually die on us. We can now take a oak sign and place it right here above our dark oak pressure plate, and we can now go ahead and grab our bucket of water. We're going to waterlog that stair, and then we're going to place one on top of where our coral will be or if you already put it in where your dead coral is currently sitting. And now we can go ahead and put in our actual coral. Now let's go ahead and continue with the outside of our boat. So let's go ahead and put a slab on either side of these back log pillar areas, just like this. And then we're gonna put a sideways stair right here and right here. We're also going to go ahead and add in a dark oak stair there and there. 
And we're going to make sure that these are facing sideways. Did not put these in on the last layer. Sorry for forgetting. And then around this top here, we're going to do five dark oak stairs, just like this. Kind of capping off and filling in that area. Then in the central three blocks here, we can just go ahead and fill in with three solid dark oak blocks. Now we are ready to go ahead and move on to our fifth layer. On our fifth layer, we're going to go ahead and put in our dispenser. So our dispenser is going to be facing downward. So let's go ahead and put in a temporary block floating above our water. And then we can go ahead and put our dispenser facing downwards towards our water source. Right here, just like so. And then out the back of that, let's place in a piece of redstone dust. Above the redstone dust that is sitting on top of our piston, we're going to put in a upside down oak stair, just like this right here. And we're going to bring up all of our spruce logs up by one and all of our oak planks up by one. Now on the front of the house, we can also put in a upside down oak stair right here in this location. And we can put a solid oak plank block right here to fill in this little hole. Go ahead and grab out your dark oak door face outwards and place it on this block right here in between your logs. This way your door will be inside the wall a little bit. I'm sorry for my mistake, but those upside down oak stairs are actually supposed to be upside down spruce stairs. This is because the roof is actually made out of spruce, not oak. Sorry for my mistake, but the inside is supposed to be oak. And if you want your ceiling to match with this block here, you can replace this oak slab with spruce or you can leave it as oak whichever one you think looks the best. I am going to replace it with spruce though. Sorry for my mistake. Anyway, we can now carry on with our roof here. So grab out your spruce stairs, not oak, unless you want an oak roof. I didn't think of that. If you want an oak roof, use your oak. But we're gonna go ahead and put two upside down spruce stairs in these locations, either side of your uh, door here. And then out the back of those, we're gonna put in normal ones. So you're gonna have this little shape right here on both sides. Then you're gonna take your stairs all the way down the side and make that same shape on the other side, just like this. I'm gonna do it again on this side, all the way down. And this is going to be layer one of your actual roof. Now, your boat is technically done with all the redstone and stuff. So all we actually have to do is finish off our roof. So if we go ahead and move on to the next layer, we can go ahead and grab out our spruce stairs. And just across the strip, we can go ahead and go all the way down and the exact same thing on the other side of our roof. We can now go ahead and fill this center here in with solid blocks, except for these end blocks, because here we're going to put in another upside down spruce stair on both sides. And then we're going to go all the way across the top of that center block with spruce bottom slabs. Take out two more dark oak stairs. We're going to put one coming out like this, and then one like this. And then we're going to grab our dark oak trapdoors, and we're going to put one on each of these solid blocks, just like that. Now finishing the bow of your boat, and therefore your entire boat is now 100% completed. All that is left to do is fill up your dispenser with bone meal, grab your sea pickles, and go ahead and start farming. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you do like this houseboat, maybe share it around with some of your friends. Maybe they need a sea pickle farm or they just want a cute little houseboat. It would really help out the channel. This has been day 11 of our December 2023 advent calendar. And if you're interested in seeing what I do for tomorrow, day 12, maybe smash that subscribe button and pop back in tomorrow. Anyways, this has been Mr. Gaming Aquatic, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season.